ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann with the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday morning, the 12th day of June. Another warm, muggy day today with more afternoon thunderstorms to deal with. Let's look out the window early this morning. We'll start with our Tuscaloosa sky cam. And boy, what a downpour we had at that spot yesterday. The uh, rainfall total was 2.67 inches at the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Much of that coming in only 30 minutes. But it's amazing other parts of the Tuscaloosa area had just a trace of rain. That's the nature of these hit and miss summer storms. There's the Huntsville sky cam this morning. As we've got some daylight and from Gulf Shores, looks like a, maybe a distant thunderstorm off on the uh, western horizon there. Water vapor satellite imagery this morning. Incredible storm up there over the coming out of the northern Rockies, producing very heavy snow there here in mid-June. And in the warm sector, severe weather again yesterday and last night. There's a look at the storm reports. Had uh, 52 tornado reports from Kansas to Minnesota including that uh, tragic tornado in southwestern Iowa that killed four people at that Boy Scout camp. This morning, uh, flash flood watches up. Iowa, Wisconsin, Minnesota, what a tragedy in Iowa with the tornadoes and the flooding. Uh, just incredible historic flooding up there. Also a flash flood watch for parts of Kansas and Missouri as well. Convective outlook today got a slight risk of severe weather from just north of Oklahoma City up to the Great Lakes. That would include St. Louis and Chicago and Milwaukee. Tomorrow for Friday, a severe weather risk from near Childress and Wichita Falls, Texas, all the way up to Detroit and Cleveland. And on day three, Saturday, got a slight risk from near Knoxville, Tennessee, up to Buffalo, New York. And uh, while there's no formal severe weather risk here, we do expect thunderstorms to be very active over the next three days with heavy rain, the biggest issue, of course, with thunder and lightning. The lightning in summer storms always impressive. Now, these maps just don't do a lot of good for us this time of the year. The QPF map, the, the, yesterday was a great example. Tuscaloosa had over two and a half inches of rain, but just down the road, nothing. But smoothing it out, that's kind of an average look for the next five days, valid through Monday evening, and that's suggesting one to two inches of rain for all of Alabama. Uh, the modeling, this is where we are today, that big, big vortex up on the Canadian border. Uh, we've got ridging here, but not as strong as last week, and uh, that should allow for more thunderstorms to fire this afternoon in scattered spots. And obviously the winds aloft are very light, so the storms that pop up will not move much at all. And as they collapse, they could produce a brief period of strong straight-line winds, enough to knock down trees and power lines. Now tomorrow, we'll watch the surface boundary up north. But again, there's a good moisture feed up through here, so scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms are likely by afternoon. Saturday, the surface boundary is nearing the northwestern corner of the state. And that looks like a relatively wet day, not a total wash, but... Again, a good chance of showers and strong storms on Saturday. Now, Sunday, the idea of drier air getting in here is beginning to look bogus, and that makes sense for June. It just doesn't happen that often. Uh, the front hangs up near the Tennessee border, so I think we'll forget this idea of showers moving into South Alabama, just kind of leave the chance of scattered showers and storms statewide, although not as numerous as Saturday. And then Monday, the dry air tries to get in here, and then Tuesday of next week, the GFS develops a, a pretty decent trough over the east, and that pushes the dry air uh, southward a little bit. And really, it's Wednesday of next week before the trough deepens, and the air gets really dry. But even then, that might be bogus too, you know. It's almost like in, until we see it happening, you just don't want to forecast it. Uh, so we'll leave in the chance of showers and storms on Sunday and Monday and maybe look at this for the middle of next week. Uh, we'll go trolling four more days. This is the 22nd of June, and look at the trough on the East Coast. Mercy me. Heat bubble off to the west. That would suggest a fairly dry air mass in here, if that's right. And at the end of the cycle on the 27th, the uh, hottest weather out there over Colorado and Wyoming, the old dreaded 594 circle. Hey, and look at here. Got some kind of tropical thing down there approaching Key West. This is hurricane season, you know. But the GFS is famous for its uh, bogle, uh, bogus tropical system, so uh, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, nothing to worry about at this point. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Wait, wait, wait.